During the summer, it's bound to happen that we will end up having some readings that are of more general character. And that isn't necessarily a bad thing. It sort of gives us some space to think about more broad topics of our Christian journey and to sing some of the more generic hymns that we really do love. And so this Sunday is a great example of that. We'll start off with a really fantastic Charles Wesley text, and you can never go wrong with Wesley. And so we'll be, begin singing, Christ whose uh, glory fills the sky. And that will be answered immediately by the collect of the day, the prayer that begins the service that talks about uh, asking God to give us the grace to do those things which God has prepared for us to do. So the hymn talks about Christ whose glory fills the sky, the morning star, our, our way to navigate through life, the, the one that we can follow. And then that prayer saying, may we do the things that you have led us to do. The first reading, the epistle, is uh, the last in a long series we've been reading out of Paul's letter to the Philippians for several weeks. And this is the very end of that letter. And in it, Paul says, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. And has this really encouraging and, and, and exciting sort of a passage. And then ending with, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is holy, whatever is pure, whatever is just, Think on these things. Do those things which you have seen and come to learn from us. So that sort of laundry list of things that we are to meditate on and to keep in front of us as we develop our Christian journey will be answered in the sequence hymn, the hymn that follows the epistle lesson, Come My Way, My Truth, My Life. Again, another laundry list of ideas, these being attributes of Jesus Christ that we can think about. This is a poem by the Church of England clergyman and poet George Herbert. Uh, he was a Welshman, he was way out in the boonies, he probably pronounced his own name, Georg Herbert. Uh, and his poetry is very sophisticated and yet it doesn't take a lot of study or thought to really understand what's going on. It's immediately accessible. And so here we have this setting by the English composer, the 20th century composer, Ray Fon Williams, Come My Way, My Truth, My Life. One thing about that melody that's uh, worth pointing out, a lot of times in hymns, in fact almost always in hymns, we have one syllable per note, and so we move through a text fairly quickly. In music, when you have one syllable that's stretched out over many notes, that's called a melisma. This piece is, as you would expect, mostly one syllable per note as it starts off. Come my way, my truth, my life. But at the end, Von Williams has a long melisma, seven notes, for the penultimate word in each phrase, in each verse. And that really brings a lot of attention to it. So at the end, as he says, such a truth as ends all strife, the verse ends with, such a life as killeth death. Many notes over that very pivotal word in the verse. So that's something to really pay attention to as you sing that hymn. At the offertory, the choir will be singing words that come right out of that Philippians passage. Rejoice in the Lord always. And it's clear from the phrasing of the text of this anonymous anthem that it was written sometime around the 1594 prayer book because it has a few turns of phrases that were unique to that time where the passage that we will read says, let your gentleness be known unto all. This one says, let your softness be known unto all men, which is really kind of an interesting take on those words. But it's a really joyful and uh, bubbly sort of a sound. Really a lot of fun. 
So we hope that you will uh, be with us as we can rejoice in the Lord always and do so with a lot of good feeling and good spirit. So please join us this weekend, either on YouTube or cable channels, or certainly by coming downtown and joining us here in person.